Today we're going to be discussing the skull base foramina on neuroimaging. The purpose is to review the most important things to know about the skull base foramina and their contents, specifically on CT imaging. We'll start with the optic canal. The contents are cranial nerve 2, the optic nerve, the optic sheath, and the ophthalmic artery. On CT imaging, you're looking for that space between the anterior clinoid process and the posterior ethmoid air cells slash sphenoid air cells where you see the optic nerve extending. So here it is on the right. On the left, we're just a little bit out of plane. On the coronal imaging, you're looking for that optic nerve. And here it is again on axial. On soft tissue windows, you're looking for that optic nerve going through the optic canal towards the optic chiasm. So optic canal, optic canal, optic canal. The superior orbital fissure transmits cranial nerves 3, 4, V1, and 6, as well as the superior ophthalmic vein. So you're looking below the optic canal. It's inferior and slightly lateral. So this is it on the bone windows. This is it on the soft tissue windows. So it's lateral to the sphenoid sinus, which is all right here. The inferior orbital fissure contains the infraorbital artery, nerve, and vein. This is a little bit harder to see on CT imaging. So you're basically looking at the inferior aspect of the orbit and looking for the canal that's transmitting that infraorbital nerve, artery, and vein. You can see this opening right here along the sphenoid and here are the ethmoids. So this is the inferior orbital fissure extending towards that infraorbital canal, which you would see below the orbit itself. The pterygopalatine fossa, or PPF, and foramen rotundum. On CT, you're looking at that retromaxillary space. So it's this canal, dorsal, to the maxillary sinus. It contains mostly fat, as you can see on imaging, but the contents are cranial nerve V2. Here it is on the sagittal. You can see the PPF, the pterygopalatine fossa. Then here is foramen rotundum. If you look on the coronal view, you're at the level of the pterygoid plates. Here's the vidian nerve canal. Superior to that and slightly lateral, this is foramen rotundum on the coronal view, on the right and on the left. Foramen ovale include the mandibular nerve, the accessory meningeal artery, the lesser petrosal nerve, and an emissary vein connecting the cavernous sinus with the pterygoid plexus. On the coronal view, you can see foramen ovale as a defect within the skull base that's projecting. It can really, it can be straight up and down or it can go somewhat at an angle. But here is Meckel's cave with its CSF density above that defect in the skull base, which is foramen ovale. Here it is on the bone windows. You can see that defect. On the axial images, you are looking for a well-circumscribed peripherally sclerotic foramen anterior to the tip of the petrous bone at the level of the clivus. So here is foramen ovale on the right, and here is foramen ovale on the left. Foramen spinosum contains the middle meningeal artery and vein, as well as the meningeal branch of the mandibular nerve. The easiest way to find foramen spinosum is to look for foramen ovale and to look for the small foramen posterior and slightly lateral to it. So here's foramen spinosum on a temporal bone CT on the left side. Here's foramen spinosum on CT. On the right side, here's foramen ovale anteriorly. Whenever I look at images of the skull base, even on temporal bone CTs, I always look to make sure there's an ovale and there's a spinosum on both sides. The vidian nerve canal is important in sinus imaging. The contents are the vidian nerve, artery, and vein. The vidian nerve is best seen when you have a coronal view. You look at the level of the pterygoid plates and the vidian nerve canal is a foramen within the bone or just superficial to the bone at the level of the pterygoid plates, closer towards the midline. They should be a match set. So here's the vidian nerve canal on the right. Here's the vidian nerve canal on the left. The vidian nerve canal can also have a more superficial position. This one almost looks like it's on a stalk with an antenna. So here's the vidian nerve canal on the left side that is superficially positioned. And here's the vidian nerve canal on the right side. The hypoglossal canal contains the hypoglossal nerve. To find this, you look for the level of the clivus, you look for the jugular fossa, and the hypoglossal canal is that opening in the bone between the clivus and the jugular fossa. So here's the right hypoglossal canal, the left hypoglossal canal, and on coronal imaging, here is that bony canal at the level of the skull base on the right and on the left. 
Raymond magnum is a big defect within the occipital bone. It transmits the medulla, the meninges, the spinal root of cranial nerve 11, both vertebral arteries, the anterior and posterior spinal arteries, the tectorial membrane, and the alar ligaments. Easiest to find because it's the biggest hole in the skull base. So here, here it is on the axials, and here it is on the sagittals. Thank you for your attention.